Your marker really? Just delivering this. Are you guys having a great day? All right, appreciate it. I know you. See? Yeah. It's when Jeremy served me. Now they just got served. Good one, man. Good one. They just got served. I would keep myself back. I'm back. Good. And you're awfully close to him. Let him touch me. He better not touch me. I can tell you that. You should go home. I am home too. Tell her to calm down. I didn't say nothing. Did I say everyone or did I say you? Thank you. Yes, sir. I knew it was coming. It's the same one that served me. <laughs> From your cease and desist letter.
the Town of Bottle Creek Resolution 20, uh, 2024-01, a resolution governing festival, public events, and parking for the Town of Bottle Creek. Uh, whereas the Town of Bottle Creek desires to recognize its historical significance on um, providing entertainment and engaging uh, for residents and visitors of the Town of Otter Creek by holding the first annual railroad festival within the town limits of Otter Creek and whereas the town desires to establish guidelines and fees for the railroad festival and any other such festivals held within the Town of Otter Creek during the 24-25 physical year and for the rental of the town hall when it is not otherwise being used for town business. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the town council and for the town of Otter Creek, Florida, as follows. Number one, the above uh, recitals are true and accurate and are made as part of this resolution. Number two, the first annual railroad festival will be held within the town of Otter Creek, Florida, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday, October 26, 2024. Number three, food trucks desiring to participate in the festival shall pay a one-time fee of $75 per truck and 10% of receipts. Number four, each vendor desiring to participate in the festival shall pay a one-time fee of $35. Number five, donations by the town council, if any council as a whole or individual members thereof desire to uh, offer food and or beverages at the festival, they may do so within the, with the understanding <coughs> that they are entitled to recover all costs associated with the purchase and, of the food and or beverage while donating the remainder to the profit of the town. Number six, vendors and food trucks participating in the festival shall permit to check in and again set up at 6 a.m. Number seven, residents or property owners of Otter Creek desiring to park vehicles on their property for the festival in exchange for compensation shall first obtain a permit from the town hall. Permits will cost $50 and be available from the town hall through October 25th, 2024. Number eight, as a condition proceed to obtaining a permit, residents or property owners seeking a permit must have their property mowed and clean and free of all debris. Number nine, individuals that do not obtain a permit in violation of this resolution and are bound to have accepted compensation for parking vehicles on their property during the festival shall be subject to a fine of $150. Number 10, town hall rentals. Individuals desiring to rent the town hall for social functions may do so subject to the following guidelines and fees. A, deposit a $50 deposit for the rental of the town hall will be required for, re for residents of Otter Creek. Anyone who does not reside in Otter Creek and desires to rent the town hall shall pay a deposit of $200, <coughs> assuming there is no damage to the property and that the town hall is clean to the satisfaction of the town council or clerk. The deposit will be returned no later than the next business day. B, fees, a resident of Otter Creek who desires to rent town hall shall pay a fee of $25. An individual who lives outside of the town of Otter Creek shall pay a fee of $100 for the use of town hall. These fees entitled the renter to use the facility for a period of three hours. Additional funds may be obtained for an additional fee if available. C, occupancy. Occupancy of the town hall for any individual or group seeking to rent the town hall shall not exceed the occupancy set forth by the fire marshal. <clears throat> prohibited activities. The following activities are prohibited on the premises of town hall, including during the period to which the town hall is rented for private use, possession, use, or sale of alcohol or drugs, display, possession, or use of firearms or weapons of any kind. This resolution shall become effective immediately upon passage and adoption. Okay. Do we have a motion to accept this resolution? Right. Okay, so we got one motion and two seconds. <laughs> we want to claim the second. We've got to have this one. Both of y'all said at the same time. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 This motion, this resolution has passed and is in effect. We will um, have a meeting. We'll have a meeting again next month. No. Okay. This is the resolution and ordinance. Thank you.
to this matter is taken in hand and moving forward. On uh, new business, there is no new business at this time. Uh, administration is out of zones, which still has not arrived. Um, maintenance is pretty much the same thing. It's been a lot of debris, a lot of cleaning up, and a lot of, uh, a lot of extra work. Um, lots of people have volunteered, and um, uh, Richard has worked a lot of hours trying to keep it up. Uh, public safety, do you have anything for that one? Okay. Uh, building and zoning is um, on the same thing. They're, they have, um, they're trying to make it here next month. They're going to work with some workshop on this building and zoning stuff. As well, they will be here for the workshop so that we can have some mutual side of work in our direction. Um, all right. Um, Administration for as far as our business goes, that is for both of them. I'm sorry, um, I've turned We have went live with our program. Um, within the next 30 days, be on the lookout for your letter. Um, we, right now, we're co co correcting anything that was uploaded that should be there. Uh, some of your payments uh, are show still here in our system on the laptop and the desktop, but they don't show in the, on the cloud. And then some show that you're still doing. So I'm trying to fix that, make sure all your accounts are right. So now that I'm live, I can actually go in and correct those. And then hopefully by the end of the month, I'm going to sit down this letter that tells you how and where to go and what to do to set up your account. Okay, so but we're live with our new program. So we're going to have a little bugs for the next 30 days. Hopefully we'll be able to get those resolved. But according to the program, it's going to be easier to fix things. And so if you have an error last month, instead of the program now, if you make the correction, you don't see it until the following month. Well, now I'll be able to make a correction in the prior mm -hmm. month, reprint your bill, and you'll see it right away. So we, it, there are some good things with it. It's, it's still something that I just want to take the hammer and just hit it. So that's not what I want. Give it to me, you know. So I have to, you know, there is a little, little different steps that we have to take. You know, so we're we're getting all the little bugs out. But we made great strides. So I just want to give you guys an update. We are allowed, so in the next 30 days, you guys just should be able to go on and do your part with the uh, set your accounts up if you want to pay God that way, set it on auto pay. You don't even have to set it up for payment if you just want to be able to go in and see it. You know, you guys will be able to go in and do that. So yeah. awesome. Welcome to the 21st century. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the loop buttons and go along with it. Uh, uh, just, a, uh, just a slight update about the festival. We do have the sheriff's department that's going to attend. We will have a couple of deputies that's going to patrol and work this, the town for one, during this festival time. they will have two others working in a booth with some new equipment that they have. They'll have one of the booths. We have the chief of fire department that's going to come and the, um, they'll set up with uh, like a little triage station there just in case if someone's needed. Hopefully that's not the case. But anyways, and uh, they will be here and we've had, uh, Travis has brought some good contacts from vendors and uh, right now we've gotten quite a few good responses from those. I think we're just a little bit more steady work on that. We all have uh, uh, ourselves uh, uh, enough people to call the festival. The vendors coming up. And, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, um, so there's, there's what we've got for that. We've got arrangements for the bathrooms. Um, we've got arrangements for trash. Um, we're waiting on some, a few other things on the bathroom, but we, right now we have the basics set for that. I um, think the only other work I have is that Trent is doing their annual, uh, one of their annual. I saw that somewhere. I think they're. I have ordered to you. Yeah. You are sent it to me. Uh, I have ordered to you. Yours is an all day into the evening. Mm -hmm. Too is like a Halloween kind of thing, which I guess we never looked at. We tried to miss see the keys, so it pushes into the Halloween. I know it. <laughs> so it's kind of hmm. but um, but actually, a couple of vendors from see the key that's going to see the key are are coming to ours as well. Oh, nice. So we got that response back from two of those, and I'm hoping for some more. All of the things can 
we've got a little time. Worst case scenario is we can walk in the streets and see the key and sign the last few people the spaces we have. I'm sure they'll take it. You know, we're out here already or close by. Uh, okay, uh, we've got um, announcements. Mm -hmm. um, the children's table, I put the calendar for the children's table, it's also on the website. Uh, the uh, walk us after water and wastewater meetings. Um, I posted those um, every now and then. They'll adjust the if they're, um, and I have been putting it on the um, bulletin boards um, so that if they have to reschedule or move a meeting. And then other than that, our, we're doing the uh, workshops every Tuesday, the first Tuesday of every month, uh, where we're going to be working on the ordinances. Uh, you're more than welcome to part, uh, come in and sit. You can't participate, but you are more than welcome to sit and observe. Okay. Um, other than that, that's just those are the announcements. Okay. Um, I wanted to say thanks to Ellie and Scott. They made us a beautiful piece of wood tabletop there in the tight and corner piece. Oh, yeah. It really turned out nice. And they don't. They don't do this. So it's. Uh, I want to give them a special thanks. Uh, so you're uh, Thank you, Mr. Scott. All right, and um, public comment. Let me talk a second about public comment before we start. Uh, last month, in public, let me just go how public comment is supposed to work. You are you have a comment you want to say. You direct it, direct it straight to the council, and there's no conversation between yourself or anyone else in the audience. If, if, if you persist with that, then you will be excused and will not be allowed to be attended. So we are going to follow these rules and we're going to stay to it and we're going to keep this thing calm and, um, and, sh and sweet. Okay. Um, public comment. Do you want to take another question? two months it's been way over and we definitely need to figure that out and I have tried to call and leave a message and I haven't we got you have left no message because I have to tell everybody's call. Um I, I have okay. it on my phone. So it doesn't say you it's no no it's fine because do the the water bills are part of the pickup. Okay. If your name is not on this account it didn't matter whether you called or not, I can't talk to you if the water bill is not in your name and you are not on the account to talk to you about it. Those certain guidelines fall in this. It's, it's even if you did a public records request, there's a lot that has to be exempt because it's not. So I couldn't talk to you anyway. So how do I go about changing it and putting it into my name? I need a letter from Dan that says he can. You can talk. Okay. I can talk to you about his account. We'll, there's a without fixing to do up a letter for everybody that's going to go out because now we're now that we're up to date on everything. I, that's one of those things I have to have in the file because that if I talk to you about something that has no, you're not on the account, that's disclosing personal information and that could walk me into a lawsuit. Okay. I can't do it not without something in there writing that says that can happen. Okay. So yes, ma'am, I mean no. But if you had left the message, I would have. Leave. I do. I mean, I have a lease. Like I said, I mean, I've, I've been trying to call for the past a little over a month to switch it and to figure it to fix the water bill. I mean, so I have that. I, I take the phone home with me most evenings, and I, unless you call back at 7 o'clock, then they don't answer. Mm -hmm. But I try to call back the next day, to, and, and I mean, if you have called, I, and I overlooked it, I'm so sorry, but you know, just so keep in mind that if you're not on this account, I can't have been talking to you anyway. We have had a successful meeting. Um, anybody's got anything else to say about this? We have a like, conversation where you can just have a vote tomorrow. We're going to call this meeting in the term. That's scary. Wow. 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 W
Yeah, I kind of was saying, I know it's kind of there, so. I'll get out of your way here. Uh, no rush, no rush. Travis, Yes, man, I'll see you guys in a I'll push you on live here. You ain't heard that door. That door's been slammed a hundred million times. Right. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What were you saying in there? I said he's been staying busy cleaning up. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, I got I got more dirt. Did you? I need to stop by and check yes, them out. I got oh, good. 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 They got served. Did you hear when they got served? No. They got served. What papers. Yeah, they did. Was, I don't know exactly what for, but they tried to tell me that I was on the wanted list. What? Yeah, they tried. To he tell was on the wanted list. I got to show. This is who. Belinda, Belinda, in there told me that. She says you're on the wanted list. You know how come? What happened? What would you do? I said, first of all, if they were professional enough, they would look at social security numbers and see that it's my son and not me. Wow. I said, people want to watch out. Explain to these people a little bit about when Christian tried to attack you with the rake and threw it at your van. Oh, and Chris? Christian. Christian, yeah. Yeah. At least not Yeah, I was just uh, tending to my chickens at the time. Wow. When I looked up, because I heard Kenny running out the other way, right. and he looked at me and threw a rake right at me, and I had to jump out of the way, and it hit my car. Right. Yeah, there's a lot more to the story it than is, that, yes. yeah, but that's just I mean, a that's short, just, sweet. That's how quick it happened. Yeah. I just wasn't ready for anything like that. Right. So this is Mr. Jim. He's a good guy. We're trying. Yeah. That's all we can do. He needs Make help. As good as you I can. mean, this is the guy that called the wall. Everybody thinks I called the wall. <laughs> you called the wall. I mean, yeah. exactly. I mean, you got to. You live next Kenny door. He actually yelled to me and said, call the sheriff. All right. Uh, Excuse me. Yeah, he does need help. I don't know why they can't get it from him. You know, right. you know what? The uh, court date is uh, Thursday. Yeah, I know. 22nd. Yeah. That's for the uh, state's attorney's office. State's attorneys to go talk about it. So, yeah, that's the 22nd. That's for us to go to the state's attorney. Yeah, I do too. So, yeah, um, yeah. right. Yeah, you can get a warrant for your arrest if you don't show up. So, thank you for uh, letting people know, Mr. Joe. Well, they finally got to meet you, so they'll be happy. Hey, how are you? I parked over here. <laughs> All right, Carl. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of here. All right, be safe. All right, Joseph. All right, Deanna. All right, buddy. Later. Later, Good man. Good night. All right, man. Nice meeting you. Right back home now. Yes, sir. Get back home. Thanks for serving the country, man. Hey, no, I I, I wasn't in the service, but I was a retired policeman. So. Okay, yeah, hey, that's enough. You, yeah, know, you, you uh, served. I they, I didn't pass the physical. I was drafted in uh, Vietnam, but right. I didn't pass the physical. I, was, right. I just got out of high school and they grabbed me. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank I you lost, for being I a police officer. Good, I lost the good buddies in there, though. I gotta see Jim. I gotta see Jim. Yeah. 
Alrighty, I'm gonna get out of here. I wonder who them boys are. I'm always over there most of the time. Tomorrow I'm going for food. Yeah, I might might go with you. I don't know. Uh, or Matt, I need to go down there and just have you. Let me shut.